After successfully completing this lesson, you will be familiar with Auto Chief 4 Control Room Unit. The Auto Chief 4 Control Room Unit consists of a microprocessor that processes the input and output signals and a display and control panel. The panel enables the operator to carry out certain operations and gives information about different status in the system. The panel is also used for commissioning. The control room panel is divided into several fields. The panel layout may vary from installation to installation. Mouse over the panel to learn more. Click on the fields to learn. Start of main engine is interlocked when one or more of the following conditions are present. If start is not interlocked, start of main engine is activated when the manoeuvring handle is moved from the stop position to any other position, in either a head or a stern direction. The system will open for start air and close the start air when the RPM has reached the changeover level for start air and fuel. If the start attempt fails, the start sequence will be repeated two more times. This time with an increased start set point, a so-called heavy start. Should all three start attempts fail, the three failed starts alarm will go off. Start failure is detected when one of the following conditions occurs. The corresponding LED indicator lights up on the control room panel and the start fail LED indicator lights up on the bridge panel. The start time limit alarm will go off if the engine is unable to reach the start air and fuel changeover level within a specified time frame. Moving the manoeuvring handle to the stop position resets the start failure. In heavy weather, it may be necessary to reduce the maximum speed command limit in order to prevent overspeed. In the event of overspeed, shutdown valves and emergency stop valves will be activated and force the engine speed to decrease. When the engine speed has been reduced to the preset 
overspeed auto reset level, the shutdown valves and emergency stop valves will be released and the engine will slowly resume its previous speed. Every now and then, it may be necessary to adjust one or more of the parameters in the parameter list. Here is a step-by-step -step procedure for changing a parameter. Turn the key switch from closed to open. Select the OP code with the up and down push buttons in the OP code display. Select the correct parameter with the up and down push buttons under the parameter display. Change the parameter value with the lower and raise push buttons. Press enter when the new value is selected. The new value is now saved. When the parameter changes have been completed, turn the key switch to closed.